Uh. Uh. Oh. 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 That was sick. A pyro face. Oh my god. This is, <laughs> this is the coolest thing ever. Team Fortress 2, arguably one of the best video games of all time and one that I've been introduced to by you lot. And it is so good that it is still thriving today and most of its competitors have paled in comparison. Just goes to show how easy, easy it is to make a good game, one that lasts long even, and why some companies just decide not to do that. But speaking of companies, Valve did put out their own rendering, or oh, no. <laughs> 3D software in the form of SFM that many fans are using today. I occasionally have used that to make some thumbnails and some artists out there are just making wonders with it. One among those is of course today's video which is Emesis Blue, an animation made by Fortress Film that is, to my knowledge, at least from what I've been told for you guys, comprised of only a few people. So as always, it's the small creators creating something that I am going to suppose rivals the big company today. Now this one is a little bit of a doozy, it's pretty damn long, it's nearly two hours, so watching this is gonna take some time and I will do my due diligence to pay attention and not pause too much. Because from what I know from these types of things, they are pumped full of easter eggs. And you know that my brain is a sucker for this type of things. But to begin with, if you have not yet subscribed to them, please do go and subscribe to Fortress Film, give them a like and come back and watch this video. So first we'll be starting with the uh, diazepam video, which I guess is a trailer for this medicine? What? <laughs> and later on then to the main film, so trailer first. Now, naturally, seeing this in the dark would have made it more atmospheric, but we'll have to settle for this. The Jules Archibald Foundation. Okay. The human mind requires 6 to 8 hours of uninterrupted sleep to fully heal itself. This can be assisted by induced medication. Emesis Diazepam is designed to treat various health conditions such as anxiety, insomnia, and schizophrenia. Okay, well, Emesis Diazepam, blah, blah, blah. See, this description this should be customized for you. If you experience any side effects such as drowsiness, memory loss, a visual auditory hallucination. Oh, oh boy. Ah, do not look away. <laughs> Go to sleep. Go to sleep now. <laughs> okay, well, I guess this is horror territory. Plague Doctor by the end. Nice. This is Gemini Home Entertainment. They do similar thing. Keep in mind, Emesis Pharmaceutical is not responsible for improper use of permanent damage. Oh. I did not like that last drop there. What the hell was that? Was that a hand? Now onto our plat de resistance. Hopefully you got yourself some popcorns. I haven't made any, but get at least a large drink. The Helix Technology presents the respawn machine. All right, I know this. Oh. Oh no. That's not how the respawn machine usually works. Emesis Blue. Blue. Thursday, October 31st, 1968. Actually, quick uh, thing. I sh perhaps should be reading the description of the video <laughs> before diving into this. 
it's like going to the cinema watching just a random A24 movie with your family and then being surprised that horror was involved. Okay, and this one says... On Halloween night of 1968, an executive of the Builder League United Corporation mysteriously vanished in Morton, New Mexico. A private detective and washed-up war veteran team up to find him. Yet, the man they hunt is more dangerous than they can possibly imagine. Washed-up war veteran, that sounds like soldier and the detective could possibly be spy. Well, anyways, nearly 8 p.m. on the Thursday. Who are we meeting? Salomon Grundy? Born on a Wednesday. Okay, gotta stop with the references. Okay, let's talk to him. So the blue team. Oh no. On the way to cremation or Oh The Shining. What is the number that Stan Stanley Kubrick likes so much? Isn't it beautiful what good lighting can do? Again, software from 2007. Beautiful. I know it's late, but mind if I ask you something? I know it's you being ever updated, had bad know. dreams? Hey, not the software, the models rather said. So tell me about it. Well, I was in the bathroom, right? And as I was brushing my teeth, all my teeth started to fall out. There was blood all over the basin. It was horrible. Are you worried about something? Yeah, actually. You ever get the feeling like you're being watched? What do you mean? When I went to bed last night, I could swear there was someone standing outside my window. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Hmm. Someone was just passing by. Doc, I was on the second floor. Uh, have you spoken to your mother about this? She says it's all in my head. <sighs> well, there's nothing wrong with your teeth. Here, take one of these tonight. Valium. Help. Come on, Doc. I don't need this stuff. I think you do, Scout. This doesn't seem normal. You sound like my mother. <laughs> I like the Lovely. background there. Uh, <laughs> got, got a bottle stuck in him. After being laid off? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna sue the hell out of Blue for what they did to me. If... Hmm, I already have theories going on in my head. The Valium causes the hallucinations. Well, you wouldn't be the first. Doc, if they ever hit you with something, you hit back twice as hard, you hear me? Well, it's getting late. Come on, I'll give you a ride. Oh, somebody's Jeez. collecting. You got a whole video store in there. Oh, oh. You know, we gotta check the names of the movies. That green and the the laughing face. What the hell? Oh, obviously, German movies. It's Doctor. Um, what do we have here? The King in Yellow. Faust. I can't make up the one in the bottom there. What is this? 1920. What the hell could have done that? Scene. What? Metropolis. <laughs> okay, well. Can we, uh, are we dealing with like uh, artifacts from the SCP Foundation here? Because I deem Metropolis, the movie, to be in itself an SCP object, if I were to classify it somewhere. Somebody should create something for it. 
because it's basically like an M4 dump movie. Granted, with a cyberpunk speculative fiction kind of look, but y you know how, um, what's a good comparison? The ring turns, like, kills the target after they've watched the movie after seven days, right? The, the girl from the pond comes and kills you. But this one is the type of movie that gives you so much information that it drives you insane. So, equally as bad. M. I uh, forget about it. Come on, before it gets dark. M. Scout? Sounds familiar. Okay. I thought that, that was just a door. Graveyard shift. Oh, that soldier. Oh, for governor of New Mexico. Hold on, mate. That himself. And what great sound design as well. He's here. I need my. What the hell are you doing? Give me back my car. You heard yourself. <laughs> you told me to keep a lookout. I told you to wait in the car. Look, what if it's an ambush? He's alone. It shouldn't take long. That Rusky's twice your size. I just need to make him talk. What if he doesn't? Just keep an eye out for the police. No, oh, he went invisible. Heavy. League. You look lost, comrade, and that suit doesn't fit you. I did not ask for your opinion. So tell me the facts. Who's the handoff? Who's your new employer? I don't know what you're talking about. Who kidnapped Archibald? Was it you? You know the price of betrayal, friend. They'll throw you up against the wall for this. What's on the briefcase? It does not concern you. Hand it over. You want my briefcase? Uh, yeah. Should have kept your distances. <laughs> Naturally, he's in pay attention. Reporting a 513 to local cemetery. The vehicle in question is a black hearse. 10 9, say again. A, a black hearse. 10 4, that is correct. 1 8 9, is this a joke? You're still a friggin' hearse at this hour. <laughs> well, oh, you think that's funny, 1 8 9? That wasn't me. Oh crap. Who the hell is that? <laughs> Isn't the radio like that only supposed to receive? <laughs> uh, speaking of which, that looks like a hearse. Shape. Big ass. Yep, it's definitely hers. Hey, Stalingrad! <laughs> Eat this! Why the heart, though? You're welcome, you idiot. He was our only lead, and yeah, now, now he's we dead. can't talk. Oh, so you were just talking? <sighs> We have to get out of here. What about the body? I left my camera in the car. Fitch it for me. No. I think I'm gonna save your skinny ass again, Greg. No, come on, come on. No. Oh no. 
Who's in the black house? The plague doctor? Yes. Oh my. What the hell happened? He took the briefcase. Chapter two. Dinner's ready. Oh, hey, you would have want Doc. driving in the ambulance. Yes. What did you mean when you said I'm not the first? You talking about the accident? Uh, there have been others. You telling me that this has happened before? What accident? Doc, what is wrong with the respawn machine? Uh, it doesn't always work like it's supposed to. Some get stuck inside trying to come through. What the what? hell are you talking about, Doc? Uh, I've only seen it happen once. On the front lines, he came through screaming horribly. When I ran out to see what happened, I... I... What did you see, Doc? You don't want to know. Wait, hold on. Who was that character that we saw in the beginning? He doesn't... I, I'm going to suppose that they are using all of the models that we know of from TF2. But we haven't seen that one before. If he is one of the mercenaries... Blue. Thanks for the ride, Doc. You sure you don't want to come in? At least say hi to Ma? Tell her I did, Scout. I have to get back to the office. You really gotta get out more often, Doc. I like this. Catch you later, alright? I'll see you soon. It kinda has that Sin City aesthetic. Yeah, still colorful, you know? Hey, Ma! I'm home! Where the hell have you been? You were soaked. The Just camera the angle, up, like he's being watched. Ah, oh, fuck. There's a car. Oh. I remember it now. That's why it rang a bell. Okay. Uh, I guess if you're watching this, then you most likely have watched the movie before. So, uh, yeah. M is a German movie, or is it German, or was it actually um, Deutsch? Anyways, we, we're gonna say it's German. That's how far I remember, because the words were in German, anyways. Um, about a killer that marks his victims with an M, and he went after some poor child, and a multitude of others. We saw that in class once during like a course on like uh, different types of movies, uh, notably there horror. And uh, yeah, it's it was a drab to me, but I remember it because it kind of has a fun thematic, like an evil Zorro. So how was the doctor here? Fine. Did you ask him to stop by? Tried. I feel bad for the guy. What's the matter with him? I think he's on something. The volume. It was the matter. Du hast dabei einen schönen Ball. Dinner's ready here. Okay, hang on. Hello? No, that's the title. Thanks for the ride, Doc. You sure you don't want to come in? At least say hi to Ma? Wait. Who is this? You really gotta get out more often, Doc. What? What the hell is this? He said they Who are you? Hey, Ma! I'm home. Oh, the symbolism with the pawn in the middle. What in the hell was that? Okay, so first of all, the plague doctor is real. It's not just the hallucination of Doc. Number two, there are two killers involved because that's the that's the scene from the trailer. I thought initially that the, the head was just hanging, but somebody's dropping the head down. They aren't just teleporting. 
to the other side. To the plague doctor and whomever it is it, uh, involved in this. Alright. And why did he fall asleep? Back at the office. Bruh, what are you doing here? Hello? Yep, there it is. <gasps> oh, the eyes. So the hand off was an undertaker? Almost. What could be in that briefcase? The... One of the movies that he collected, The Laughing Face, is based on a play. I know my German movies. It's based on a play. I can't remember exactly what, but the masked individual has a laughing face. It's a masked individual, so obviously there's the, the theme going on there. But was there a killer involved? I can't remember the details of that one. But if he faints like that and with the shifting eye colors, is he turning into like red duck? Hmm. Okay, sorry for speculating too much, but this is interesting. Money, gold, diamonds? I don't think this is about money. Is it a bomb? If it was, he wouldn't hit me over the head with one. But if it's Archibald's severed head? Enough, soldier. If we don't find out where he is, they'll have all our heads. What the hell do you think you're doing? I think I know who to ask. Soldier that only receives, it doesn't transmit. Brigger, Brigger, this is 185. Gonna need an update on that stolen hearse. Roger, 185. This is 187. I have visual on a black hearse heading south of Brixton. 10 4. Tail it! <laughs> yeah, I am I respying this one. How the hell is this radio sending? Sir, I'm gonna need you to roll down your window. I can't see your face. <laughs> What street was that? Purgatory. I'll be damned. Oh. <laughs> this fake stop motion. Oh no, what did he do? Going to go on the limb and say that uh, he might be the killer. Can't see anything. We got, a, we got an old units call downtown. Some night, huh? Damn, the VAs here are great, but they can't disguise their voices completely. Are we dealing with some Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde situation here? Yep, we definitely are. Okay. One of his sides is trying to take control. Kidnapped. What are the oh scouts? Oh no.
Hello? Hey, Doc? Oh, thank God, Scout! Are you alright? I, I know it's late, but mind if I ask you something? What? Sure, being watched Scout, too. Where are you? You ever get the feeling like you're being watched? What the hell have you done with him? What is that sound? <gasps> Conscious slaughterhouse. A coniker. Intel hell. Well, I've been working downtown for over 30 years now, and I ain't never seen nothing this bad. Oh, sorry, you're dead. Hey, don't worry about it. We'll get you patched up in no time. And nobody comes in here except paramedics, you hear me? And somebody get these clowns off my crime scene. I don't need it's this the last right time. Now. We are federal agents. I am Detective Mannix. This is Lieutenant Colombo. We are looking for <laughs> a very dangerous criminal. Will somebody run a background check on these bozos? There's no <laughs> way they're FBI. Termination notice. I want to talk to him. No. To whom these may concern. Due to the recent investigation into the events of October 24th, 1968, the Board of Executive have made the decision to terminate your employment. The Bill is Lee United Corporation. Oh, is this Scout's? Oh, that's Scout's termination. Let me guess, it didn't compensate him at all. You ain't talking to him. The respawn you. unit carry 99% success rate and does not cover the 1% chance of malfunction. Wow. Yeah, corporations, eh? Tell me exactly what happened. He had to be on drugs or something. I tried to bring him down, but he just kept coming at me. It was like a nightmare. Yeah, the poor bastard. Oh, upon respawn, patient SC10498, Jeremy E, scout, was found unconscious and convulsing from apparent seizures. Post recovery, patient showed signs of reduced speech inability to perform simple tasks and symptoms relating to schizophrenia. Patient was dismissed under the protection of a legal guardian, being his mom, I suppose. Yeah, the poor bastard got his own sidearm in the gut. Chief, they just found 187's body stuffed inside a dumpster. Jesus Christ. Ah, I'm dying your hair! How did he escape? What was he driving? Look, I think you've asked enough questions here, pal. Ambulance! See, look, he needs a doctor, so why don't you just... No, he was driving a goddamn ambulance. All right, everyone oh, a doctor outside. did this to him. Too many people in there, for Christ's sake. Soldier. Get in the car. Oh, no. Yep, we are out here hunting ghosts. That blood from the drink. Hmm. Wow. Check the bathroom. Medical. Storm's cut the power. Mirror's shattered. There's blood all over the sink. Yeah, he was a sense there. Must have been a bite or something. Ah! My God. It's his latest victim. It's a model, you idiot. <laughs> this is worse than I thought. You know, they made me take a bunch of this stuff. Said I was seeing things. And did the medication work? I don't know. 
I never took any of it. <laughs> <laughs> Typical soldier. No, don't! Hello? Who needs hallucination Hello? when you have PTSD? Who is this? Who am I? Who the hell are you? Who is this? What? It's him. Listen to me, punk. You're not gonna think this is funny when I strangle you to death with your own stethoscope. Who is this? It's the voice of God, you son of a bitch, and I'm coming for you! Something ain't right here. Doesn't feel real. Like, who is so meticulously sending out those messages? Those phone calls and recordings? Is he not dead? And how has it become so powerful? Engineer was somewhere here. Is he in the coffin? <laughs> That's Scouts. That's his baseball. Why do you have to... Oh, that's some crazy mind game. Trying to help you. If I had a gun, I'd shoot you, you sick bastard. No, stop. <laughs> oh, I knew he was there somehow. Both of them. He look lost, boy. Now, brother, 
I do believe that you were the one who chained out that Calvin. Indeed I did, brother. Not the specification. So how do you now? <laughs> Dumbass. We'll go on then. Say something. <laughs> well, we'll let you out. I'm glad they did because I like company. <laughs> This is effective horror. No jump scares so far. I'm impressed. Check the ambulance. Nothing. We need to call for backup. I got it right here. You bring the RPG with You've him. You've had that thing in my car this whole time. For emergency. <laughs> Just what do you plan to do with it? I'm gonna use it to jump across this ravine. You really have lost your mind, haven't you? What? I've done it before. Put that down before you get us killed. Oh no. Uh oh. He's my fury is right. He's fighting here for his sanity. Dust Bowl working out, brother. Dust Bowl is gone. Gone? You heard me. There's nothing left of it. Well. We're still trying to figure that out. It doesn't look good. But what about my little brother? Is he all right? Listen, I'm coming to the slaughterhouse now. Is the briefcase secure? Sure. I swear to God, if anything happens to my brother, I'm gonna... Shut up and listen to me. Forget the test subjects. I think we've been compromised. You're so goddamn inconsiderate. Shut up! Yeah, who knows how? Look, when are you gonna be back? We shouldn't have to deal with this. Don't let the briefcase out of your sight. And what about my brother? <laughs> Yo, what's the deal with that? Yeah, you were too slow, Doc. Good old Anton Shigur here. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. Oh, just give him another shock to the head. 
think that's actually what he needed. Awakening his murderous self. Or not. I was wrong. Damn. Okay. Uh, what? I said Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, it wasn't a joke, huh? The beast refused to let you die. I was kind of joking with the Anton Shigura thing, but uh, yeah, this persona has no qualms with killing people. Actually, it revels in it. your question, dumbass. I said, what the hell are you? Now that ain't a toy, son. Put it down. Now. Now don't do nothing, stupid boy. You got no idea who you're dealing with. in the briefcase. I would have got you. <laughs> yeah, let me see you heal from that. They are of the same. What? Oh no. Now he remembers. Oh, this is sad. find out you bald in this excrement. Back in the war, we would spend weeks stuck in wet dugouts like this, with water up to your ankles. They were built only six feet wide, but they could go on for miles. Hold on. Canonically speaking, he was never in the war. When did he become a war veteran? Am I missing something? Kill me now. You have no comprehension of what you're getting into. I have a pretty damn good idea. We should have called for backup. And what the hell do you think I'm doing? I just saved you from a bullet to the head. And who was it that told them we were coming, hmm? Who's been killing our leads and getting the police involved? You have compromised this entire operation. What about all those pictures? That's evidence we can use, right? They were in the car, you idiot. Now I have nothing because of you. You stupid bastard, you amateur! 
I hope you can swim because you're going right back out the way you came. You're gonna shoot me? We're done. Oh, I don't care what regiment of you think you come from. You are not coming with me. You shot one of your own before? Get out of my way. Archibald teach you that? Quick little thing. I was on the knock on reading the um, <laughs> TF2 comics. And from what I recall, Archibald and Julius are actual characters, like made up characters within the comic book lore of <laughs> TF2. Something that Soldier and Scout made up is just like a, um, a cover up for their own mistakes as they destroyed, like, I think a field or a training area or something like that. But otherwise, they are actual characters. But in here, they are canon. It's funny how they're playing with the lore here. I like it. Oh, that's a sniper. You better drop that rifle before I come over there and put my foot up your- Who the hell is out there? Looks like Ray Charles traded the piano for an M40. What? <laughs> I've got an idea. <laughs> Ray Charles. What are you, blind? Come on, right here. Take your mess. Like, how stupid are you? Well, red sniper's done for. You think I didn't come prepared? How did you know he wouldn't shoot you in the head? I didn't. Let's finish him off right here and now. Let him bleed. I don't think that's a good idea. It's Pyro. The sound. The only explanation, the mask. It was him. How did I not notice? He was kind of forced to. Not like he was willingly leaving you behind. Uh, let me guess, he's not going to have any bullets left. Typical. What the hell happened to the red team? Oh. 
I want to know what the hell is going on here. I don't know. That's probably Mitzmeat by now. I've already lost one man. I'm not gonna lose another. Then you're a dead man. You haven't lost both eyes and Cyclops, so tell me what you've seen. Oh, demo map. It's not a hallucination. <laughs> what the hell is happening? <laughs> what is this, man? Okay, so Soldier apparently was an actual war veteran. He asked him what battalion he came in. Because in the law, Soldier is just a madman who went there in 1949 after the war was over. Trying to... <laughs> Going on a murderous rampage, to, trying to kill Nazis. But apparently he was actually one. And both of his parts are trying to do the right thing. But Scout, and I go, I'm going to guess that this has something to do with the respawn machine. That 1%, that accident that occurred, is it transforming them? And they're just being kept in there. But why? Why wouldn't they leave? And what the hell is the deal with the Plague Doctor? So many questions. Yo, Slender Scout exists. What in the Death Stranding? Hey, that's the Blake Doctor. Well, he's having hallucinations too, but caused by his PTSD, I suppose. Demo man. You're gonna finish that? United through alcoholism. Yay. Hey. I'm looking for Jules Archibald. Who's asking? His rescue. Oh, he lost an arm. going to be disappointed. I want to know what the hell is going on here. I don't know. That's probably Mitzmeat by now. Oh my god, it's a time loop. It's a freaking time loop. But how? When did it begin? And when does it end? Is he gonna receive the wrench in the head right now? Already lost one man, not gonna lose another. Then you are a dead man! <clears throat> you haven't lost both eyes yet, Cyclops, so tell me what you've seen. Gonaga brothers. They run the joint, but this is red territory. Not anymore. Who's the guy you were just talking to? What guy? I don't have time for this. Wait! You gotta get me out of here. Why the hell should I? There's a whole stash of guns locked in a keep upstairs. I can get you in.
No. Yep, you already did that. Land the scout. That's an air raid horn. So yeah, it's triggered by his PTSD. Definitely from the war. <laughs> My God, the design of this thing is genius. Pile of bodies. What are these zombies? Well, that's a red soldier. The old man stuck on the other side. Oh, okay. Wait. 
Who is? Archibald? Or what? Is he... Was it all set up to get them in there? What are they covering up? The incidents? I'm no... I, I'm being that annoying friend who keeps on asking questions while watching the movie. in the briefcase. Patient appears to have died from a bullet to the heart. Normally we have papers signed before doing these things, but uh, uh no matter. The hell with Helix, the old fools. They don't deserve this. Uh oh. He's growing. League. Squish. Hey. Uh oh. Yeah, that boy is gone. That was Scout. The mutated Scout. Or whatever that thing is. Oh, please don't do a final destination. That's the last thing that I want for these guys. It's just like, what the hell is wrong with him? <laughs> I 
Oh, you wanted a promotion? Here it is. What's the charge? Treason. What? What's it going to take, Corporal? <laughs> I want a new car. Done. Anything else? A soldier wasn't kidding. Archibald told him to, taught him to kill his own. Huh. My own personal assistant. Anything you like, Corporal. How about a vacation, old boy? I think I've earned it. Oh, he's a bastard. You think you can get away with this? Build this league will destroy you for what you've done. Don't he you was... get it, you mute freak? I'm... So that's why he was there. He was covering everything up. He had no qualms with the evidence being destroyed. He wanted it to be destroyed. Oh my god. Man. What do you want? That was sick. A pyro face. Oh my god. This is, <laughs> this is the coolest thing ever. I don't believe it. On your feet, Cyclops. Ugh, I think I lost my piece. Can't go back for it now. You don't work for the Conigers, do you? I killed Zaconicus. Who gave you that order? They tried to kill me. Is that enough? That doesn't belong to you. I can explain. I can't see a bloody thing. Don't move. What is in that briefcase? Please tell us. And he stole the piece. He's gotta be a sleeper agent. I know their type. I saw the devil in their eyes, man. Huh? How far down are we? You hear that? Stun him. Mr. Archibald? Oh. oh, thank God! A rescue! You have to get me out of here before I contract something. Are you injured, sir? I'm about to have a heart attack. Now, are you going to stand there, or can you unlock this bloody door? <laughs> You're right where you belong, you fat crooked bastard. Smart bloody leper, aren't you? Soldier, why are you dragging this corpse around? Uh, this man called me. He's been handy, sir. He's got none left. 
Are you conspiring with the enemy, soldier? I'm just trying to help, sir. Then stop wasting my time. Um, that moment went to the bar. Okay, who's being a troll? You want me to do it, don't you? But I won't. You can't make me. You can't make me! Something Mr. There. Archibald? Cyclops? He's hallucinating again. Oh, come on. Stop this. <laughs> Laboratory. <laughs> right. Hello, Bill. Long night, eh? Longer than you think. Oh, my God. Oh, it's a shining reference, and now it's about to go racist. <laughs> okay, just joking, but... Care wow. for a drink? Love one. I thought you were miles away, lad. Where you been hiding? Who says I've been hiding? Your brothers thought you were dead. <laughs> Relapse is a hell of a thing, ain't it? Too right. Demo. Longer than you think. It is. What? When they figured out how to bring us back, some of us would tell stories about what we saw on the other side. We saw old friends, family, mostly strangers. I spoke to my grandfather. He's been dead for 30 years. What'd he tell you? It's eternity in there. The worst from the beginning. <laughs> I, I didn't imagine that, but it makes perfect sense to make an entire movie based on the respawn machine. Does this whole, um, the way that teleportation is supposed to be working is that it disassembles you from your atoms and re reassembles you again. And as if we were to be very shallow in the way that we interpret our being, we are essentially just an assemble of, well, in electrical impulses firing around in our neurons that remembers all our feelings, impulses and all that. So if they get reassembled in the right way, then we are us. And if they don't, then we can presume to be called something else. And what then happens when in the process something goes awry? That 1% margin of error, they get stuck in there forever.
Helix Technologies. Uh, corruption detected. Yes. Blue talk, blue talk. Can you hear me? Lower your voice, blue talk. I can hear you just fine. Am I coming through clear? No, blue talk. This is a telephone call, much faster than air mail. What do you mean, who is this? It's Jules Archibald. We must speak to oh, you know the room of skulls. Oh, yes, I'm calling about the project we discussed. <laughs> I'm dead, bro. <laughs> no, not the pregnancy machine, the other one. Yes, there's been a slight hiccup, so to speak. The respawn machine works, it technically works. Plutarch, however, uh, no, you see, that's the problem. They Enter Bazooks, call me. What? He killed 90% of the tests. Jesus. That's a mountain of corpses. Uh, hold on a moment. What the hell is going on? He shot himself. Oh, bloody hell. Just throw him in the pit with the others. Excuse me, nine, Blue Talk. You promised me an army, Archibald. Well, think of the money you'll save. Mercenaries are very cheap these days. With a respawn machine on every front line, there will be no worry. You'll surely win this war by the end of the financial year. Not allow a respawn gap. The respawn gap? You must be joking. Plutarch, I, I really must be going now. Hey, listen, would you be interested in a new heart, liver, or spleen? We have about 800,000 corpses on site, and we're not really sure what to do with them. Oh, oh the skull staring at him. I'll put it on the bill. Ta-ta, Plutarch. Oh my god, they ran a dark, dark business. Please. function Oh, there goes the shining Created something completely new Oh, he got him. <laughs> I was wondering how can he stand? That's a tenacious sniper, huh? Trick isn't going to work. Oh, oh my. It's 
spy is actually evil. Well, there are no good or bad guys here so far. Deserved it, you idiot. Okay, I literally cannot tell what is real anymore. <laughs> they recreated the entire house. Or is he witnessing what he actually did? the time loop when I went to bed last night I could swear there was someone standing outside my window he pushed the movies oh, don't be ridiculous someone was just passing by yeah. I'm gonna sue the hell out of blue for what they did to me. but how can they interact with their own God, if they had a hit you with something you would stay quite <laughs> Murph <laughs> Don't leave me, Murph! Hey. Hey. Yeah, that's some insta interstellar shit. Wait. <laughs> oh. Oh, what's up with that medic? <gasps> Jesus, the art direction here is crazy. In the church, the scene that he saw before, it was him sitting in the confet. What is happening? Do not harm, and do no harm. Those vats, test subjects. Yep, it's you. Oh, 
Oh no. Bestest of friends. Nice. He's still on fire. So least like the court of owls, just watching him. Goldman, I'm in a fix and you have to get me out of it. I cannot go to trial. I simply won't. I'm already on thin ice with the old man, and if any word gets out about that godforsaken asylum, I'll be sued into oblivion. Me, maybe even hung. My chances for re-election will be ruined. I am not going down for a war cry. <laughs> so what if I made a deal with the old man's brother? The war is their business, and mine is to drag it out for as long as humanly possible. Is this what it's all about? Perpetuating the stupid war that kickstarted TF2. Oh my god. <laughs> because the original story is that the two brothers were fighting for land, which is why there was a mention of red territory before. And this is the whole shkick. Just to create an army of soldiers to... Oh, man. It is, the movie is so cool, but the reason is so dumb. <laughs> but fine, fine, fine. That infernal, unholy contraption is my lifeline, Goldman. Might be your only way out. Oh, I've thought about it, surely, uh, as a last resort. But if I can use it to disappear for a while, it's a chance I'll have to take. <laughs> Where am I calling from? That's a stupid question. You know bloody hell where Jeff, I am. I heard you've been kidnapped. What's going on? Kidnapped? I don't know anything about that. Listen very carefully, Goldman. I think there are people trying to kill me. And worse yet, I think this Valium is actually... Continue this call. Please deposit five cents. No oh, blast. The Valium is the cause. <laughs> nah. Uh, okay. What did he say? <gasps> yep. Who the 
hell are you? It's me, Jules. Oh, thank God, Corporal, you've come to save me. But Have I? I've always been the one to save you, Archie. I did your dirty work and hid it from everyone, and look what it did to me! My God! Who is there to save me, Jules? You've never cared about anyone but yourself, Coral. No! Please, for God's sake! Well, there's no one here to protect you now. But I, I've given you everything you wanted. And I'm giving you exactly what you deserve. Bye, Archie. I'm on? All right, fine. Hello again. If you're watching this, then I can say with complete certainty that you have survived respawn compatibility. Congratulations. If you're confused, allow me to explain. Before you were lawfully executed by the state, you signed a contract effectively donating your mortal remains to a medical trial. The good news is, you're not on death row anymore, since you're technically already dead. Which oh. Okay. So this is what this is about. Death row inmates. I kind of saw some clues to that, but I, I, I wasn't sure. Also means you are now company property, but fear not. As promised, you all have a new job waiting for you when you get out. You are now ten of the strongest mercenaries money can buy, and your sacrifice will reward you in time. I'll see you all on the other side. Now, oh, hell! But who's that? Who's that guy there? There are nine of them. Is he the tenth? Like, what the hell is he? Is he the plague doctor? But that wouldn't make much sense, thematically speaking, since there's already a doctor, right? Don't you want to die for something worth dying for? Do you have any idea how long I've waited for this? Longer than you think. What took you so long? See you on the other side. Why did you come here? I was trying to save somebody. So was I. Heavy still alive. We shouldn't be here.
And where is Soldier during all this? <laughs> Catabase. Catabases. Hello, Doctor. <gasps> Open it. I can't. I insist. It's not mine. Liar. Tell him how you got the case, Fritz. I stole it. Impossible. Forget this. Where is Archibald? Archibald is dead. Everything this man has told you is a lie. He killed him. And the boy. Huh? That's not true. What is true to you? Or you? Who ran away? I am the only sane man here. I took a bullet for you. I should have shot you myself. You first. Hmm. Damn, forcing them to play Russian roulette. Why? Well, hopefully he shoots himself. You're gonna make it, Fritz. I know. No! <sighs> Goodbye, Dr. Ludwig. Now you know how it feels. Well, he's not dead. You won. Go. And soldier, I'll see you at the funeral. Well. Wait for his ability to kick in. So that's the doorway. Piles upon piles of bodies. Why would you do that? This is what we use powerful hardware for. To render a bajillion of polygons stacked on upon each other. Who's doing a maintenance job?
Silva. Oh, okay. I was about to say, I hope that he has ammo for that. Is he like literally in hell? The whole thing just purgatory. Jump. Come on, you can do it. What the f Please tell me that Heavy's dead. Come on! Being really lucky. Real. <laughs> oh, oh, God, it's back in the city. The rain's flowing backwards. It was him. That's how the time loop starts. But wait, the car didn't blow up.
Come on, let him survive at least. Come on. Hopefully that saved him. That a G-Man model. Governor Roger Bolt's funerals on Sunday. Wear black. Cheer up, Mr. Doe. I think your friend will pull through. Oh. <laughs> Glad you could make it, Detective. I'm sorry for your loss. I heard you two were going to Ah, here he is. The man of the hour. You know who I am. No talk, man. Nice to finally meet you. You know my friend Jules. Better than anyone. Fifty-eight years old. He was just a kid. I met him in 1960, right after the election. He was going on and on. How do we get rid of the son of a bitch? Um, shall we find you a seat, Mr. Man? Oh, yes, yes. I, I need to sit down. <laughs> Funerals are an absolute waste of money. Like war? If I couldn't strike my brother <laughs> down, I thought God would eventually do it for me. But I'm no closer to beating Redmond than I was a hundred years ago! Speak of the devil, and he shall appear. I thought I smelled something dead in here! I've just come to offer my condolences, Blutark. Balderdash, what was my friend doing in your compound, Redmond? I don't know what you're talking about. He was like the brother I never had. You slaughtered him. Admit it. Gentlemen. Thank you all for coming. We are here to honor the memory of Jules Archibald. And his loss, I'm sure. Has come as a shock to all of us. Mm -hmm. Jules carried Bindis lead for as long as I can remember. And though he's gone, we won't forget the sacrifices he made for this company. Of course, with the accolades out of the way, I'm sure you all want to know what happened. As you know, Jules was recently abducted from his home by some kind of underground cult. The rescue operation had gone awry, 
However, my self and my colleague managed to escape. Jules died. Perhaps my colleague could explain what happened. Stick to the script. Sleep. Find this man, formerly Dr. Fritz Ludwig, one of our own men. He is schizophrenic psychopath and an addict of his own medicine. He also had an addiction for his own patients. This boy has been missing since Halloween night. His mother was found beheaded with a hacksaw. Is this really necessary? I am simply illustrating a point that this man was capable of kidnapping and murder. How did we let this happen? Archibald is dead because we failed him. Did you kill him? I beg your pardon? Did you kill the bastard or not? No. The coward took his own life. Unspeakable crimes. This unbridled act of cruelty against our own company will not go unpunished. So, in Archibald's death, and in accordance to his will, I will be taking his place as chairman of the board to end this treason and corruption once and for all. Nice. Get me out of here. He cannot die. Shooting at us! Run all the red lights! <laughs> what are they good for anyway? Look out! Help me! <coughs> yep, the few that was continued by these old bastards. End it. Crap. 
gravel. I won. <laughs> I outlived you, brother. I am the last man standing. Finally ended that feud, huh? Man, brother assassinated. Deadly funeral attack. Claims nine. Yeah, <laughs> man incorporated. It's done for. Dark. Oh no. Oh. Saloon in the middle of nowhere. Of a phone? No. I think I'm going to be sick. Restrooms in the back. It's a fancy restroom. Yep, I thought as much. You're in the red now. Don't take him. God help me. Just like the other guy. He was missing his teeth, right? Uh, what? Other label? Emesis Diazepam. Oh, rival companies. Well... Diazepam and Valium do have the same facts. Crushed. That makes more sense. 
<laughs> than a saloon in the middle of nowhere. And him missing his eyes and teeth. Wow, that's the movie. Yo, Chad, <laughs> literal Chad. You made a piece of art. Wow. This is insane. Oh, yeah. Just something at the end. I don't even know what to think right now or what to say. This is one hell of an experience. I think that I need to watch this a few times and like... I'm pretty sure it's been five months since the video has been out, so I suppose there's a breakdown videos out there. But it's kind of uncanny how it is that people can turn like a fun game with like... Barely minimal, minimal amount of lore into something so grandiose. It's beautiful. I enjoyed every second of this. Although I'm still puzzling how the whole mechanism of the respawn machine works and what the time loop truly is about but i think that i grasped i grasped that much but guys thank you again for the recommendation of emesis blue and i know that this was a long ass reaction but as always please do go and subscribe the original authors of this the original creators which is fortress film and of course if you like the video don't forget to give it a like that said though wish you all to have a wonderful day see you guys in the next one bye